know, he got beat last time. He wants his belt back. All this nonsense where he has to fight harder. It doesn't faze me. You know, he's going to gas out trying to kill me even better. And I'm going to put his ass to sleep. My wife, man, just Jim and Jim and home. I don't really have a bunch of friends. The few I have have always been like 10 toes down. I wanted a child that's different, and that's Michaela. And it's hard for me to sit and tell you all my goal, but she gets it. You know, she understands like the reason why I'm doing this. That's all I need. It's more important to win for her than to win for myself. As long as I've been doing this sport, my sweetest moments have been fights one with her around. And, you know, she she supports me, her mother supports me, you know, other people support me. And that's all I need. The ones that the ones that are in my corner. You know, I follow his career when I first started. And when I first got here, I didn't like him. And I think that's why we kind of closed. Because <laughs> all my coaches I never liked has always been the coaches that pushed me. So I respect him a lot. He just proves time and time again uh, how much mental toughness he has. Like from, from the last fight, have breaking his hand in the first and then just firing it over and over throughout the fight, just smashing his hand to pieces, you know? I remember just putting my hands like on the cage and I'm like, I broke my hand. And this is why I respect them, you know, they always get me to a certain point. And I, I just remember him like reaching up and grabbing my hand, just like squeezing my hand. <laughs> and just asked me like, do you want to fight? You know what I mean? Yeah, I want to fight. My hand was broke, but you know, like that's why I like really hold these two dear to me because they really push me to, to be. You know, it's not just in here. It's not just in the fight. You know, it's in my own mind. It's in my own body. It's not normal. You know, it's not. It's not. It's not an average guy by any means. You know, definitely a special athlete. I didn't actually squeeze it. I kind of grabbed yes, it. Yes, you did. <laughs> I ain't squeezing it. So I just get a hold of it because he was like, not. He's not a complainer, but he was. I was trying to just get his attention somewhere else. You know, I was like, hey man, you know, you you're gonna win this fight with one hand. My thing was just like bring him back to a different page. You know, and he did. And he goes out there and knocks the guy down on his ass with his left hand with a broken hand. After the fight, many surgeries, you know, but just shows us always focused and, and as mentally tough as a human can be, you know, he's got that. I'm real hard headed, and because something turned hard, it doesn't make me shy away from it. It just actually makes me go harder towards it. So being in a rough patch of the sport has only made me more hungrier. You know, how I feel about Patricio is just plain and simple. He's earned my respect. I fought him three times. And I mostly respect him because he hung in there getting his ass whooped to finish a fight. Outside of that, I mean, he's just another opponent to me. He's just another guy I have to face. He's not training just for this pit bull fight. It's always training to be the best fighter in the world for this one and in the future. So this is just a, a silhouette or a shadow that, that we got to walk through to, to get where we want to go. We both get out there and we leave it all out there. You know, he goes hard, I go hard. I hit him, he hits me, and you just gonna see a, I mean, you gonna see a banging fight. <laughs>